Sagittarius, welcome back to Joya Knows. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a personal, the information is below. If you'd like to join members, just go on the page and click join. We're gonna go ahead and say a quick prayer and then we will jump into it. So Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Sag on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. It is currently 12.47 p.m. Today is July 19th of 2024. In the last Leo reading, I accidentally said 2023, so just take it how it resonates. But yeah, it's definitely 2024. <laughs> but I hope you guys are doing well. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. First things first, I'm hearing set um, set an alarm for 11.17 a.m. You're going to receive confirmation of this reading when that alarm goes off. Also, go back in your camera roll, check your notes. There's something about um, March 19th coming back around. Yeah, waking up to wisdom. So check your camera roll, check your notes, see what that's about. Um, so you know what your reading here is about. You could be dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius here specifically. I'm also seeing something about 2017. So seven years ago could be a theme as well. I'm also seeing the Taurus reading. It's like seven years of bad luck is over. Okay, so there's something about three days from now. I'm hearing on the 22nd at 7.22 a.m. Make sure you put this in your calendar so on the night before you can set that alarm and see what's going on. But I'm seeing a twister. I'm not sure if this is literal or metaphorical, but just whatever it is, I'm seeing it. And it's gonna last for 22 days, okay? So that means whatever this storm is, whatever this twister ends, um, it's gonna last until August 10th. If you're watching this at a later date, 22 days from the day that you see See this you'll be experiencing it now this doesn't have to be a negative thing this could just be a whirlwind you know like there's things moving really fast around you and you're just kind of like in the eye of it watching it all go around this could be a lot happening at once you know so don't take this as a negative omen at all i just see rapid a rapid pace here so as i was picking um out your cards and pulling them out of their boxes this card slipped out the voyager sagittarius energy and what this tells me is you are on some type of long journey a very cosmic one at that you may not be aware of the destination you may not even realize that you're on a journey however there's wisdom here especially when it comes to emotional wisdom emotional intelligence here as well but yeah make a note of the 22nd or three days from the day that you see this at 7 22 a.m i'm hearing it begins okay don't forget that it's going to be important later all right yeah i'm hearing x marks the spot some of you you may receive like directions whether this is like intuitively or something that you see i'm seeing a treasure map um, some of you are at war with your friends or family, specifically family over beliefs, or you guys may have conflicting beliefs. I'm hearing conflict of interest. And on that note, I'm seeing a situation, it doesn't have to be family, it doesn't have to be this, but I'm seeing a situation where there's tension in a certain dynamic right so i see you switching from your sagittarius energy to your gemini energy you're deciding to be very logical you know look at both sides of a situation but then i feel like you come back to a point where you realize someone's just trying to get a reaction and i'm hearing you're going to give them one all right so whatever this is whether it's family whether it's another situation i see it's like you try to be logical you try to be yeah order you try to be um compromising i'm hearing like you try to look at things both ways now it's at a point where you got all the way to the bottom of the ocean you got all the way to the bottom of the ocean where we don't even realize what these animals are right and what that shows you what you realize at the bottom of this ocean is like i said somebody just wants tension here or somebody just wants a reaction out of you so you're like oh, okay cool got you that could be what that twister is as well just take it how it resonates and then for some of you i see a dynamic where it's like you're homeschooled you grew up homeschooled you grew up in an environment where it's like i'm hearing i don't play that i don't play that i think that song um is by king vaughn if i'm not mistaken but yeah it's like you're not about to be playing with these people you're not about to be playing with this person um i'm seeing you roll up sleeves just take it how it resonates now moving forward if you lost something i feel like it's going to be found in an old box 
some of you it's a thousand to fourteen hundred dollars i'm hearing like oh my god i forgot i put that here i feel like if that's you that's going to be on the 29th you have liberation here or it's like you may find something in an old box that you've been looking for or that you may need now maybe you didn't have a use for it back then but you have a use for it now just take it how it resonates some of you may have to spend or you may be receiving between a thousand and fourteen hundred dollars just take it how it resonates um some of you are traveling to california for an acting job or some type of gig if that's the case i see you have another fire energy specifically leo i'm hearing yellowing someone's like turning yellow um i'm also seeing it's like whereas leo's the sun and they're normally yellow it's like oh like i'm supposed to be like the sun i don't know i'm seeing like a weird interesting because normally we see green with envy but i'm seeing yellow maybe this person they'll be wearing a yellow shirt when you realize this just take it how it resonates um i'm hearing sickle cell just take it how it resonates once again yeah if anything comes to mind uh yellow i'm hearing yellow yellow <laughs> just take it how it resonates uh, moving forward, if you find something that you like online, I feel like it's something that you need to try on first. Or if you're at a store and you see something you like a lot, you need to try it on first, especially if, if it's for an event that night or a function that night, because either you needed a size smaller or a size bigger, you know, I'm seeing something's like uncomfortable. It's like almost perfect. If you would have tried it on, you would have been able to like go up a size, go down a size or like really get the adjustments that you need. So don't be lazy. Um, I feel like that's not just for clothes. If you want something, like try it out first, try it on first before you agree. I'm hearing trial run type energy. Just take it how it resonates. Yeah, crisis on the bottom of the deck. My shirt says existential crisis. That's for you and Leo. Okay. And I'm seeing the crisis is getting home, having to go to an important event. And then it's like your dress is like hanging all off the shoulder. It's all like way too long or way too short. You know how pants when they're like high waters and they're at that real awkward length, like right there, you know, it's, it's a crisis for sure. Um, just depending on how much you care about stuff like that or how important said event is. If it were that important, I don't know why you're waiting to the day of Sagittarius to get what you need to get, but that's another conversation for another day. Anyway, moving forward, something about these locations, you could be traveling there, moving there, from there, or this could be where you currently are. I'm here in Cuba, Brooklyn, New York, California. Something about Bengali, I'm hearing the name Bengali Cinema, which is actually a song, the name of a song, just to take it how it resonates. Portland, Oregon, and Costa Rica, okay? Also, these readings, Apollo the Messenger, that's a Scorpio reading, and Taurus, Seven Years of Bad Luck is Over. Those are gonna be for you now, but I'll put them at the end of the video and also in the description box below, okay? But yeah, you're going from grief to gratitude. So an abrupt change, an abrupt shift here, especially by the end of that twister, at the end of that 22 days, you go from grief to gratitude. You're really gonna see how everything transpired, why the storm was necessary, you know? I also see when things are moving really fast, you're gonna be really proud, really happy with where you end up. I'm seeing, oh, the Aries reading, headed down the yellow brick road. I'm hearing, there's no place like home. There's no place like home oh and then there's that yellow again so whatever path that you're on i don't know i'm hearing leo specifically there's somebody that's like while you're walking the yellow brick road it's like they're like turning yellow this also gives me a vibe of like someone trying to cause more attention to themselves while you're on some type of like path to success or you're experiencing some type of reward or accolade it's like i see somebody behind you trying to make themselves like like brighter i don't know the sun I'm seeing a Teletubby, <laughs> if I see it like growing, it's like, hey, like, I don't know. You'll see, you'll see what that is and you'll be like, okay, yeah, there you are at the bottom of the ocean again. So that path, that Voyager energy, it's literally showing you everything. You may have a lot of realizations at once over the next 22 days. And by the time you end up on August 10th, you're like, Whew. <laughs> you know, you're like, damn, that shit is crazy right there. Also, if you feel any negative energy at this time, like I said, you're on this path to greatness, you're on the yellow brick road, there's jealousy yellowing around you. All you need to say is this, 
I rebuke any evil tongue speaking, thinking, and wishing negativity against me. That's it. You're covered. Well, if you truly feel like you have ancestral protection, you do not need to do crazy shit to be covered you know you should feel as though you are covered so therefore you are covered if you feel the need to do all this extra stuff to protect yourself i feel like that's telling you um and you know within yourself that for whatever reason you don't feel protected so you need to get back to the root of the problem and then work your i'm hearing work your way up from there just take it how it resonates but literally anytime you feel any negativity evil eye that is all you have to do if that all right for some of us, all we have to do is just, guys, you saw that, right? Bet, go get them. That's power right there. That's power, that's protection. So moving forward, um, on March 19th, the day that I told you guys to go back to, I feel like this part of the message is for masculine energies. So on that day, I went back to see what I was doing for myself. I was at the Japanese gardens with an Aquarius, right? So we're there for a while, we're hanging out, and then I think we left to go get food. But the weird thing was we went to go get food. I remember we like sat in the parking lot for a while talking, talking, and then we were like, actually, like maybe we don't need food, like maybe we're good. So we literally left, right? Made a circle and then we were like, no, let's go get food. So it's so funny because 21 on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, that whole series of events, it was all very divine, even though it seemed redundant to us at the time. Anyway, so let me go back on this day. So yeah, this was March 19th. We're at the gardens. Wait, I'm trying to show you the date. Japanese gardens, real cute. So that was at 3.05. It was at 4 30 when we ended up getting to the restaurant so there was like a lot of time that had passed we were talking for a while when we drove away we drove like a little distance and then we circled back i never go back like i never you know i always move forward with anything that i do but when we go inside the restaurant i think my friend ran to one of their friends they get to talking i sit down i sit down over there somewhere so i'm sitting down i'm listening to the music I'm listening to the music. I think we were on a golf course. Uh, this restaurant was on a golf course. Um, so it wasn't like hip hop music or anything like that. It was like music that I was not familiar with. But then I hear out of the corner of my ear, I hear, what does he say? Cause I typed in, yeah, lyrics, she's so lovely like Cleopatra. I hear this song and it's like, she's so lovely like Cleopatra, Aphrodite, Joan of Arc. I'm like, what the fuck is this? So then I Shazam it. And this song comes up by Tal Backman, and it's called She's So High. I'll put it at the bottom of the, um, in the description box, uh, so you can look into it yourself. It may have some messages for you, but I'm seeing if you're a masculine energy. When I looked at the lyrics for me, pretty much the guy was saying like, oh, like she's so, you may feel like you're dealing with somebody that's like way out of your league, or this person, they could be um, a business owner, a ruler of some kind. You know, this is somebody that's very in control of themselves. And it could be someone that's quite intimidating for you, especially if you dealt with the opposite. Like you're always kind of used to, um, like uh, I don't want to say submissive types because that is a spectrum we've been talking about spectrums all day but that is a spectrum within itself but maybe you just aren't used to as much power as you're finding within this female that you're meeting it could be an Aries and Aquarius just take it how it resonates but it could be I'm seeing Gemini energy as well but yeah um and I feel like if you do feel that way if you do feel that way I same thing that we just said with the protection thing you need to get to the root of the problem of like not necessarily why you don't feel worthy of engaging with an energy like that but more so what about that is i don't want to use the word intimidating but what about it is i'm seeing someone dip their their toe in water but it's like electricity like it's shocking like i don't know there's like a shock there but like, what is it that is keeping you from the temperance energy, like dipping your toe in all the way? Interesting. I don't know. So that's something that you're going to have to remedy on your own. I was also hearing the song Unwritten by Natasha Bendingfield. So you may want to go listen to that. I'll also link it below. There's one more thing that I want to do. 
I want to look up what significant events happened. Oh, I just got a phone call. Wait, who was that? Um, hold on. Let me make sure she's okay. It's my, sorry, it's my um, family member's girlfriend. They literally never, ever call me. And it's an Aquarius. We were talking about Aquarius. Uh, something about Miami um, could be significant as well. Her name's Mia, like M-I-A. What was I doing? 1989. Okay, let's see. <laughs> let's see. I'm hearing, don't be scared. That's the masculine energy. Okay, so 1989 is considered a pivotal year that helped shape the present. It was a turbulent time that marked by political, wait, it was a turbulent time marked by political tensions, tensions we said, and many significant events, including the end of the Cold War, the fall of the Berlin Wall, revolutions in Eastern Europe, and the launch of the World Wide Web. Some of you may wanna go watch the Leo reading because um, that Cold War energy makes me think of a card that kept coming out for them over and over, especially if you have any Leo placements. But yeah, um, what I'm getting from this mostly is considered a pivotal year that helps shape the present. So I'm getting this year for you as a pivotal year that's going to help shape your future, just like any other year, you know, but there's something a little bit different. I'm hearing spicy, a little bit different about this one for you. So let's go ahead and jump in, see what's going on. I'm hearing rush. Somebody's just like taking something lightly not making any movement at all i don't know if this is you or what but i see this energy where you suddenly kind of like like wake up and you're like oh wait shit like i need a rush yeah hold on let's see empress here shuffle for sag some of you masculine energy once again you may have a dream going back to that four of swords like you're literally sleeping and then whatever it is that you dream you feel the need to kind of like wake up and rush towards whatever you saw rush to communicate just take it how it resonates shuffle for sagittarius Ooh, yeah, temperance coming out in reverse, Gemini energy, or it's like you may need to tell somebody, it's like I need to tell somebody about this or talk to somebody about this. Um, yeah, let's see, seeing Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Some of you, this is like, um, this is in two days on the 21st. You may wake up to a dream. It's like you don't know whether or not to keep it to yourself or to tell somebody. It may be, it's like giving one of those vibes where you have a dream that somebody passes away or something bad happens and you're like, I don't know, am I disrupting the peace by letting this person know? Like, I'm not really sure what to do. I am seeing that as well. Something about somebody's kids could be significant. I feel like whatever dream that you do have, um, it may come to fruition around August 21st or so. Yeah, Eight of Wands strength. It may not be the best thing because I am seeing this like guilt, this after guilt where it's like, oh, like, I could have prevented that. Yeah, Empress in reverse. I could have stopped that. I could have said something. But for whatever reason, I feel like that's not the case. You know, everything that's meant to happen happens. So whatever that is, if you're somebody dealing with like really intense dreams that come true, the guilt is not yours to have. Spirit will let you know when you need to intercept and when not to intercept, you know. But anything that does not need to happen will not happen. Anything that the guides don't want to happen, everything that's written is written. I'll just say that, you know, so there's no need to have guilt. I'm hearing survivor's remorse. Yeah, Eight of Cups. 
All right, anyway, yeah, Eight of Cups here and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Feeling like you could have changed something, stopped something. Just take it how it resonates. Some of you, this happened in the past already, and this is something that you're working through, trying to get through, get over here. But you'll know what this is. I'm hearing when you go to sleep tomorrow night, when you wake up, and then it comes to fruition a month later. Some of you, this is about like a distant family member. Yeah, I see Leo got the same card. It's like you want to wake up and run and tell somebody. I'm hearing run and tell that, run and tell that. Oh, that's not even a song. That's from um, a news interview about the peeping Tom. He was like, you can run and tell that, homeboy. I'm hearing that. They're like, hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your children, because they're getting everybody out here, something like that. I don't know, Sag. Okay, let's move forward. Oh, I just got another text now from a Gemini. Okay. Anyway, the next two days, starting tomorrow, I'm hearing a new Eon begins. Literally, Leo got the Eon with a whole different deck too. So definitely just watch all the readings. They're all collective. They're all for everybody. They just look at different parts of the Zodiac, different parts of the horoscope, but we can all find something from the video. So yeah, the next three days for you are gonna be very important. Next three days, shuffle for Sag. I'm also hearing um, over the next three days that voyage begins. That voyage that we saw in the very beginning, that's when it begins. Yep, the fool when I turn the card over, the moon here. But it's like you don't know where it's taking you. You don't know where it's taking you. You just have to trust. I also feel like during this process, there's a lot of things that are going to be settled and resolved here. I'm hearing settlement. Some of you, you have something from February that needs to be resolved and settled. Over the next 22 days, I feel like it will be. Something about Virgo energy could be significant. Um, something about February 18th specifically could be significant. There could have been something that took place that hindered you or hurt your confidence for whatever reason. But whatever you've been through here, you're getting a key, then boom, you have a new beginning. I feel like over the last how many months, five months, you've been in this ring of fire to get this key. This reminds me of Fear Factor. You know when they have to do all these crazy challenges, dive in the bottom of the pool with rings of fire, get the key, unlock yourself from Houdini's locks, you know, all this crazy shit. But it's like, this is what you've been through. The last five months, you've been on the path to getting the key. Now, I see starting tomorrow, the next three days, you're on your path on the voyage so now that you've been to the bottom phoenix rising from the ashes you can begin so whatever this beginning is for you the beginning of this uh, voyage literally the next three days next three days three when i split the deck three so okay um i almost called you leo sag Something about family, traveling home could be significant. Some of you, maybe you've been around family too long and you've lost your focus um, and you need to kind of get back into your own vibe to recalibrate your own energy. There's something, there's something like that. Like something caused you to lose focus in February, lose confidence, you know, but during that process, there was something that you needed to gain, that key, okay? Now you can take the key and start your path to this journey. You don't know what the door, oh, you don't know what the key opens. You don't know what door it's to. I'm seeing the skeleton key. However, however, like that map, X marks the spot, like the way has already been paved for you. Um, yeah, you just gotta go with the flow I'm hearing. Mary Feng Shui, yeah. So let's, uh, 
Okay. Going with the flow on the bottom of the deck, I swear on everything, did not peep that. And then you have clinging to the past. I said something about the last five months has been released, you know, so you can move forward. You're now moving forward. Let's see shuffle for Sagittarius. I'm hearing that song. It's like, this is no ordinary love. Yeah. Maturity here. Some of you have to go through that fire in order to like, you know, gain some type of maturity, grow up in some way. Some of you are forced to kind of grow up overnight here. Hold on. Let's see here. Yeah, for a lot of you, I'm hearing the 21st. The 21st, the 21st, you're going to see through the illusion. You're going to see something. The 22nd starts your voyage. Okay, just like that in that order. Hold on one more time. All of this leads to a metamorphosis, though. All of this also leads to you understanding how to better protect yourself moving forward in the future. So it's like whatever hurt your confidence, like, what? You expand with your confidence. You rule Jupiter. You have unlimited confidence. You have unlimited potential. Nothing should be affecting you in that way. But now I see it's like you've learned how to protect yourself here. It's like you understand politics. Some of you, this is a thing. Like you, I'm always grateful for growing up, doing auditions, dance auditions, acting, you know, this and that, because I understand very well, like, no is nothing against me personally right if you're creating something and you have a vision you have exactly what you want everything to look like and you're trying to fill in those pieces fill in the puzzles if you don't fit the vision of that it's nothing against you there may be enough there i mean there's hundreds of different projects and these and opportunities so it's like if you didn't understand that concept it doesn't have to be that you were auditioning but in anything in life you know in any situation in life you didn't understand politics how things work so anytime you got rejected like you took it personally it hurt you like da da da, da you're realizing that oh this is nothing about me this is about politics this is about something way deeper you know like and i see it's like you're finally able to take that pressure off yourself you know and that also is helping you mature as well so yeah some of you are going from like taking something personally to realizing like okay this has nothing to do with me this is not about you know me or what i can do or what i have this is just politics right i'm also seeing a different situation as well But you're good. Just take it how it resonates. I see by the end of this month, you will have really understood whatever these politics are for you, you know? I'm also hearing like two companies, um, saying about two different companies going like head to head. It's like, okay, they, I don't know, it's, it's giving one of those things. I'm hearing like um, AT&T versus like T-Mobile or Verizon. You know how sometimes they do the commercials and they're like, you have AT&T and you're on the top of the mountain, you might lose service, but at Verizon, never, right? Doesn't mean that Verizon hates the founder of AT&T. We understand that, okay, they're just trying to get business. They're competitors. Like, you know, it's politics. <laughs> it's like if the person who works at at and saw the commercial and started crying it's like that has nothing to do with you it's bigger than you something like that all right so you're on your adventure you're on this voyage by the end of this voyage you will, you will have gained more maturity more understanding of lessons than you have i'm hearing in your entire in your entire lifetime thus far and that's what that twister is bringing you all that energy so expect to grow up quick expect for the next uh 22 days or so to teach you a lot 
expect to feel a little bit ungrounded, but in that sense, needing to understand how to constantly clear your energy, recalibrate and keep it pushing. You know, I'm seeing it's, it's like a training. It's like a training. I'm hearing training season. I'm hearing Dua Lipa. Also, some of you, I'm hearing two lips. Like you may have to speak up for yourself during this process as well. There's a lot here. There's a lot to be learned, but also a lot to be gained and attained. So just know 22 days, 22 days. And record, record the things that you experience, the things that happen over the next 22 days and just see. It officially starts on the 22nd and like I said, the next 22 days proceeding. If you're watching this at a later date, it starts in three days and the next 22 days after that. I'm hearing mastery. I'm hearing mastery, yeah. So, okay, let's move forward, let's move forward. And it's like, you have the opposite of Leo. Leo, it's like their childlike energy is coming back out. They've been in the wisdom for too long. For you guys, I see it's like the childlike energy is being put away and the wisdom is what's taking its place so that you can really expand in the directions that you need to, you know? Yeah, emperor here, beautiful. Taking control. Shuffle for Sag, anything else? I see if you're in, say you're in a partnership or a commitment or something like this, I see you having to disappoint somebody here with the Nine of Cups coming out in reverse, chair you upright. This may be a point or a time in your life where you feel the need to like, or you feel compelled, you feel convicted, you feel called to like take your own journey, take your own path, take a step, you know, back from some type of something that you've been investing in here. Um, I see this creating some type of disruption, twister, however, this creates a new beginning for you. So, I mean, we don't live in selfishness, but understand like when you're being called and following that order versus what selfishness is. Those are two different things. So you don't want to miss your mark, which you won't. You don't want to miss your calling, which you won't. You don't want to miss your destiny, but you don't want to prolong it either or have like confusion about it either by trying to satisfy everybody, you know? So whatever you feel called to do and invest in at this time, it's okay to change your mind. It's okay to redirect. I see for a lot of you, that is what you're being called to do though. And I do see a difficult conversation because like nine of cups in reverse if this is two people three and six it's like somebody's fragmenting something nine so they can do what they need to do nine that's a moon right there right we don't really know where that's gonna lead right that's a little bit disruptive from the mundane and the routine right however for whatever reason it's necessary there's there are things that you need for your next path okay so let me see confirm for Saj one last time Yeah, no fear. Nine. So you have nine, nine, nine. Three, three, three on the time. 3303 right there, which is another nine. So all nines. You're at the end of something, on the brink of something brand new. So Sag, get so excited. Um, like I said, a little bit intimidating. We do see that tornado. We do see that twister, but it's bringing a lot rapidly okay put on your big girl pants big boy pants and you know suit up boot up poncho up whatever it is that you need for the winds that you're about to experience because they are gusty 33 33 on the time um anything else anything else for sag uh let me grab my book let me grab my book and see if i have any extra messages for you So we were all over the place today. You guys are on a voyage. We got a man who... is trying to learn how to feel adequate or trying to gain confidence for something. I also see a situation where there's a masculine energy. It could be a thing where they're in a relationship with the feminine energy and maybe that Aphrodite, Joan of Arc, Cleopatra, like just seeing someone so high up, this person either makes more money at the start of the relationship or over time got to a position where now they might make more, you know, and 
I'm seeing a masculine Sagittarius who feels the need to like break away and go on his own journey to possibly like return with just as much. I'm not sure. We'll see how it all plays out for you. But um, the, the, the situations at hand will definitely be different for everybody. So let me see. On the 22nd, yeah, new chapter for sure. Movement. Yep, something about uh, dreaming, something about dreams, exes, dreaming. Hold on. I was also hearing something's going to be ironic for Pisces, Capricorn, and Sagittarius. I'm hearing the irony. Something about iron could be significant. I want to look up one more thing. Hold on. I want to look up this. I don't know if she's a goddess or a deity. Let me see. It's like an Aztec fire. I also see a situation where somebody's like, oh, like I have to leave. I got to go. Because the person I'm looking up, her name is N-A-H-U-A-T-L. But if you look at it, like, in three words, it's like, nah, you A-T-L. Like, you're not going nowhere. That's how I see it. I don't know. That's just my left-handed ass brain. But <laughs> nah, you A-T-L. But who is she? I want to see who is nah, you A-T-L. Okay, a member of a group of peoples native to Southern Mexico, Central America, including the Aztecs. So going back to that collective reading, it was called like Midas Touch, Aztec Activation. Some of you, you're leaving, you have to go on a new path, do something different in order to activate something or activate yourself, you know? And like I said, not everybody's going to support that. Not everybody's going to see that. Don't look for support in others. Look for support in your guides. Look up and up only. I don't know why y'all be looking to people, um, you know, for answers. And I don't mean people who can see if you need spiritual guidance for sure. But also make sure the people who you get spiritual guidance from are happy and progressive people, right? Because misery loves company. We live in a world full of misery, full of misery people miserable people make sure that um whoever you get advice from whoever you get guidance from because a lot of you especially you have all this expansion coming in you want to make sure that you're getting advice whether it's readings whether it's just literal advice whether this is family friends that want to see you expand who aren't uncomfortable with expanding who have expanded so much in their own life that they could never hold jealousy hate or anything towards seeing somebody else expanding you know you want to be around people who see growth and they're like wow inspired by it you know you don't want to see people who see growth and they're intimidated by it negative by it you know enclosed by it is that's weird so just make sure you vet out people entirely before you start seeking guidance for them especially for Sagittarius because you are ruled by Jupiter you guys your expansion depends on it if you're getting advice or you're getting guidance from somebody who has not expanded in their life expanded in their mind or their experience you will stay stuck just like they are just where they are for however long they have been. You don't want that, right? <clears throat> Throw chakra there, right? So yeah, vet out people. Make sure, make sure everybody is sane as well. Align, equilibrium, you know. Um, I'm seeing kundalini, like just a certain level of wisdom, a certain level of like spirituality and just make sure if nothing else you use your intuition numbers don't matter all this shit doesn't matter use your intuition when it comes even with me even when it comes to getting advice from me vet me out first right anything anybody so i just wanted to say that too because you guys are walking such divine paths and also one more thing i wanted to say because i resonate with this last message as well years ago like well, i think right before i started the channel um yeah, like around three years ago, my guides stopped having me watch readings, right? And there were like two, three, four people who I love to watch. Two of them deleted their channels completely a little bit after my guides told me to watch the reading. So I'm like, oh, y'all really don't. And those were the two I liked the most. They were so good. They were so low key, but they were great. They're gone, right? Then I started to understand it's like, oh, you can't watch readings because 
your path is so distinct. Your path is so intricate. Your path has been so divinely orchestrated that no one can see where you're going. They haven't, they cannot like fathom, right? With fear here. So they're not going to be able to tell you the right information. They literally can't see, right? This is the energy that you have. So you don't need to be consumed by somebody that's like thinking from this dark ass, lonely ass, sad ass cave. You don't want that. This is what you want. People who respect you, have respect for energy, spirituality here. People connecting with nature, mother nature. I'm seeing Libra energy, Taurus energy there. But people who find beauty in all walks of life, right? You don't want, you don't want to be constricted by anybody, conflicted, constricted, none of that. So just be aware as you, especially as you navigate the next 22 days, 25 days total from the day that you see this, you're going to want to make sure if you're not looking up or looking straight, you're looking towards people who have ascended, you know, use your intuition to understand what that means for you, because it's not to be taken lightly, especially with a path like this understand that not everyone can see everything right so go to those who you feel like okay i trust i trust what they have to say i trust them you know with my life essentially because guidance people follow that right and me i take this shit seriously that's why if you don't see me for two months my guys told me you don't need to post anything for two months all the information is in the playlist you know and i listen I understand that y'all want readings every day. I understand that we live in a time with short ass attention spans. I understand there's other people who post eight times a day. That has nothing to do with me. I do what I'm told because I take this shit so seriously. I have never loved anything else more than this as far as work goes. I've never felt any more connected to anything other than this as far as work goes and the things and the endeavors that I have in my life. I'm interested in many things, but nothing more than this, nothing I connect with more than this. So therefore I take it so seriously and god rewards me for that you know so same thing for you friends family people just make sure that everybody is on the same consensus as you so you can make sure that your life grows in a direction that it deserves to and that you have planned for it too and that you always knew that it would and that it will continue to you know and nobody's stopping that for you you're on the yellow brick road Bitches, guys, anybody can be yellow as fuck about that, right? You're still gonna be skipping, skedaddling down this path and no one's gonna be able to fuck with you, right? And I'm seeing this tornado behind you now. Anybody that tries, shoo, 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 shoo. <laughs> Let me know what it feels like all windy up there, getting hit in the face with different shit, you know? Then after that, maybe you will have gained wisdom too and you can walk down the yellow brick road but not until then so sag that is all i have for you thank you so so much for being here um let me know how everything transpires it's gonna be like i said it's gonna be a whirlwind it is but it's necessary very very necessary i'm also saying something has to pull apart come apart to be real rebuilt back better one more message here looking at this nine of cups in reverse Three of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Some of you, you're realizing that you built something or you started something out of indulgence, out of what you thought Nine of Cups was fulfilling to you at that time. Yet, time has passed, you have grown. So therefore, you're realizing you need to take your own path in order to break something down to recreate a nine that fits and suits who you are now. And that's okay, all right? We don't want to stay in the same position for years and years, seven years, six years. Look around, nothing's changed. No new people, no new things. No, as soon as we notice that something's not in alignment what do we need to do to change it how can we move forward how can we progress how can we change things to make them feel more aligned you know solution based okay so that's all i have for you god bless it's been a while didn't mean to preach but there was a lot to say i thank you so much keep being great keep being you and i will see you next time take care